Okay, so let's try to uh, learn how we can calculate the sample covariance of two random variables, x and y. Okay, so here we have a TI-84 calculator. Um, and just as a refresher, let's recall what is the definition of the sample covariance for a set of uh, observations n observations, n equals to 10 here, we have 10, uh, as an example, we have 10 pairs of observations, and uh, this by definition is equal to xi minus x bar times yi minus y bar, yeah? And just like the population covariance of x and y calculation, we're going to make use of a uh, calculator-friendly expansion, and that is uh, 1 over 1 over n minus 1 times the uh, product, the sum product of x i y i uh, minus n over n minus 1 uh, times x bar y bar. Okay, so um, let's suppose as an example we use this 10 pairs of observations and uh, we enter those values into lists one as my x random variable and list two as my y random variable. So we have entered these and these are just a reminder uh, sample observations. So let's uh, enter them and then perform a two variable statistics calculations. So enter two here, two var stats and selecting uh, L1 as our x variable, L2 as our y variable and leaving frequency list empty because we have um, explicit data and these are this may be the data may be duplicated. So we ask the calculator to calculate and this will fill in all these variables with the correct values uh, with respect to the entered data. So what we need to do now is to uh, call out the relevant variables from the calculator. Okay, and um, basically uh, perform this calculation here. So we have n minus 1 and we want to do an inverse and then multiply by the sum of xy then minus of, which is an operator, um, n over n minus 1 then x bar and y bar. So uh, let's try to do that. So we have um, bracket statistics 1 n. Okay, so we want uh, n minus 1. Yes. Um, and then take the reciprocal, multiply by the summation, or, and uh, we want this sum xy here. Okay. Yeah. And then minus of, we want uh, n um, divided by bracket n minus 1, okay. then times x bar y bar. So x bar is 2 and y bar is 5. Okay. And that's it. And this is, the calculator says, the sample covariance of x and y is negative 0 0.1111. So we can get it pretty easily.